have a seat, everybody. As you can see, as you can see, I'm still over here. And uh, previously on tonight's monologue, we were talking about the inspirational heroism of the Ukrainian people. They have united the world in condemnation of Russia and inspired the world to action. For instance, last Thursday, after Putin invaded Ukraine, one of the harshest options available was to cut Russia off from the interbank communication system known as SWIFT. Biden was asked about this at his press conference on Thursday. Mr. President, you didn't mention SWIFT in your sanctions that you announced. Is there a reason why the U.S. Uh, isn't doing that? It is always an option, but right now that's not the position that the rest of uh, Europe wishes to take. That is the first time I've ever heard of Europeans being cautious about new positions. <laughs> since then... <laughs> since then... Faced with the enormity of Putin's crime, the Western powers now have disconnected Russian banks from SWIFT, forcing Russia's central bank to more than double interest rates to 20% and refuse to open the Moscow Stock Exchange, which is probably a good thing, because this is what shares of the Russian bank Sperbank actually looked like when the market opened in London this morning. Holy <laughs> pierogi! It is never... It is never good when your financial graph looks like someone knocked over the printer. <laughs> All weekend, Russian people have been standing in long lines at ATMs trying to get their money before it turns to dust. Putin's finally fulfilled his dream of bringing back the Soviet Union because that's a lot of people waiting in line for some bread. <laughs> Faced with a financial crisis, Putin tried to reassure citizens that the banks were sound. You're, you're thinking of this place all wrong, as if I had the money back in a safe. I, the, the money's not here. Well, your money's... Funding a tank brigade in Ukraine. <laughs> now, I would stay in line for those rubles, Russians, because as of today, Apple Pay and Google Pay no longer work on Moscow's metro system, leading to long queues as people fumble about for cash. Eat sucky morning commute, Ruskies. <laughs> I tell you what, I tell you what. You don't get out of Ukraine too sweet. Next, we're sending the worst from our subway system. The guy with the garbage bag full of sandwiches that he's giving out for donations. <laughs> and the kid who bangs on a bucket. He only knows one song, and no one knows what it is. <laughs> How disliked is Russia on the world stage? Even famously neutral Switzerland is adopting all the sanctions that the European Union has imposed on Russia and freezing their assets. Switzerland, <laughs> Switzerland. 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 Switzerland has a knife out for Russia. And since it's a Swiss knife, it comes with little scissors, a toothpick, and a corkscrew. Again, again, I cannot say this enough. Switzerland. This is Switzerland. Who, may I remind you, did not take a side when it came to Hitler. But they looked at Russia and said, OK, you've gone too far. This is like the Dalai Lama grabbing a buck knife and an AK and screaming, kill them all, let the Buddha sort them out. <laughs> That's not all. That's not all. The, today, the, uh, the international soccer organization, FIFA, suspended Russia and ejected it from the World Cup. <laughs> That's big. Oh, they That's important. They that. care about that. Yeah, definitely. That is a surprising move for soccer. They are famously hands off. Some bans are hitting Putin personally. Last night, the International Judo Federation suspended him as its honorary president. In addition, and as do we, have, we just got this in, today we have learned that he was banned from the Global Consortium of Volcano-Based Supervillains. <laughs> they released this statement. Mr. Putin's actions in Ukraine run counter to the values of our subterranean doom layers. We are immediately recalling his hairless cat. <laughs> All these sanctions... Hairless cat. Hairless cat. The fans are hairless cat. Cat lovers. Hairless cat. All these sanctions have apparently uh, driven Putin to uh, what you call the brink. Yesterday, he ordered Russian nuclear forces put on high alert. Everybody doing okay? <laughs> For those of you out there younger than 50, everything's going to be fine. If they launch the missiles, just remember to hide under your school desk. <laughs> Putin explained his actions this way. Not only do Western countries 
take unfriendly measures against our country in the economic dimension, I mean the illegal sanctions that everybody knows about very well, but also the top officials of leading NATO countries allow themselves to make aggressive statements in regard to our country. Oh. Oh. I hate cover bands. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>